go. Ooh, is there enough of my forehead in? <laughs> yes, I'm feeling Christmassy. And you know what that means? Christmas elf hat. With bacon on the sides, of course. Because all Christmas elves love bacon. Do, 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 do. I love bacon. Woohoo! I said bacon, not bacon. Now this week, I've got a challenge for you to help develop your awareness of chord function using chord formulas. Come with me and I'll explain. I'm about to give you a piece of music right in your face in this very video. You can pause it, you can look at it, take your time to look at it as much as you want. It's a chord progression, but I'm not giving you the chords, I'm giving you a chord formula. And what I'd like you to do is guess what the song is. A chord formula tells you the function of a chord within any key. It doesn't matter what the key is. The first chord will always behave the same. So if you're in the key of D, the first chord is D, it feels like home. It's the center of the whole thing. It all wants to come back to D. That's when it feels like the end. If you're in the key of A, A is the first chord. It will behave exactly the same way in its own key, it's the center of its own key. Now the same thing goes for every other interval of that key. So when you get used to understanding the, the function of these chords, you start to hear uh, a five to one movement. You understand, oh, that's, this is the fourth, but it's minor, how does that work? Then you start to unlock the mysteries of music and you, you start to understand more about this, the beautiful language that it actually is. It's not just throwing chords together. Every chord has a purpose and a function. Now this challenge is gonna mean different things to different people. Some people already have the tools they need to get to the end result, and it's just a case of playing the chords, guessing the song, which is hard in itself. Some of you will have never heard of a chord formula before, and you've gotta do some digging. You've gotta Google it, you've gotta read books on it, you've gotta find other videos on YouTube about it, and that's what I want you to get from this. I want to give you some direction. I want you to understand where you are, how much do you know about this, how much do you need to know to find a use for it. And a lot of the time, people will learn these uh, musical concepts and never put them to use. It's like, okay, I know that now, what's next? But these are things that I use on a daily basis. Understanding chord function is, is like a superpower. <laughs> it helps me work out any song by you all the time. Or should I say, bacon. <laughs> Next week, I'm gonna give you the answer to this and we're gonna break it down. But if you're watching this and you're a future person, and this has happened a long time ago, then you can find the link in the, in the description taking you straight to that answers video. Now I'm gonna let the video play out with the chord formula on screen. You can pause the video, you can screenshot it, you can do it that way, or you can find a downloadable PDF in the link below. You don't have to give me anything, you just click it and you'll download it instantly. Now when you do any kind of research on chord formulas, you'll find there's two distinct schools. There's the Roman numerals and there's the Nashville numbering system. Now I'm technically European, I suppose, so I use Roman numerals and the Nashville numbering system is <laughs> inferior. <laughs>